approval of the <coughs> final reading of the ordinance to adopt new flood insurance rate map in accordance with the National Flood Insurance Rate Program and amend certain provisions in sections of Scott County Code Chapter 6, zoning for unincorporated areas related to the flood plan regulations. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any questions about that? If not, roll call please. Minor. Aye. Sunderbrook? Aye. Cusack? Aye. Earnhardt? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Resolution approving 10 smart planning principles as an addendum to Chapter 2 of the Scott County Comprehensive Plan in accordance with the recommendation of the Scott County Planning and Zoning Commission. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any concerns or questions? Bill? Uh, I just want to say I've, I've done a lot of checking on this and thinking and uh, based upon staff's assurance that this is a guide and uh, will not uh, subject us to uh, any outside pressures or uh, influence, uh, I plan to vote for it. Okay, any other concerns? Yes, yes. Um, I'd like to address the issue presented here, or at least as I see them anyway. I think the <coughs> smart planning principles do align with our comprehensive plan that was recently revised and therefore I have no problem with it. Uh, Scott County has an average of 350 people per square mile. Um, the 10 principles, I think when you have that level of density of population in a county are necessary really and provide a framework for people to have their interests met and their needs in an organized, open, and flexible way, a way that will in fact probably change with the times. And it might be that in 2040, there will be 11th uh, smart planning principle, and, and maybe even before that, the list doesn't necessarily uh, uh, imply that it is locked together with everything else forever. The second issue, here is uh, one which uh, Supervisor Cusack alluded to, that a new council of government or regional council with whatever authority the state might give it would be another layer of government and take away some of the independence, uh, you might say, or authority that Scott County might have at this time. Um, my comments are, are this. Iowa counties are small. This Scott County, I looked this up today, 450 square mile. By any standard, that, that's a fairly small area. And our county was, was created in 1837 in a design that was appropriate for that time and place, 175 years. And obviously, hundred those years have passed, and with it, a whole host of new issues and technologies have arisen, which um, place us in a situation where what might have been adi adequate at one time may not serve the needs of Scott County residents in this new century. So we have all kinds of ways that governments can work together. For instance, 28E agreements. They allow cities and counties or cities and cities or counties and counties to work together. There are literally thousands of 28E agreements throughout Iowa that <coughs> enable us to function and meet the needs of people as they are now. We have community college districts that have, in our case, a certain set of counties, and they, they can tax, but that was created in the 1960s to meet the needs of, of Iowans at that particular time, and they continue to meet them today. We have judicial districts that we're in that are another set of counties, five counties. Now, we don't tax in a judicial district. The state provides funding for a judicial district, but uh, we do have a 28D agreement with staff in, in helping accommodate some of the issues that arise with the uh, 
prisoners in uh, these five counties, and it uh, it saves us money because five counties can be more efficient than than one, especially some of these very small ones. We have five states that we work with: five counties, three in Illinois, two in Iowa, um, that provide a variety of services for us and um, serve the needs of all the citizens of this county. Mention one which I know there's controversy about the Scott Emergency Communications Com uh, Commission is an organization of, with the county and the largest communities and a private organization, many all participating together to provide services. I think this layering is necessary. We've got an 1837 government structure, and we're living in the 21st century. And so the state, over time, has created these very layers of government to meet the needs of people as they have arisen. We sit at the table of all of those organizations. Supervisor Sunderbrook is the chair of, of SAG. I've been chair of the 7th Judicial District for the past few years. Uh, Carol Earnhardt is now treasurer of the uh, by state Regional Commission to her surprise. <laughs> Alan was before that. I don't think there's ever been a time in the Bi-State Regional Commission where we haven't held one of the four major offices. I mean, it's just the, the way things work. So you, Iowa has, the state government has allowed these structures to develop. They're not perfect, but they've allowed them to develop to meet all those needs. And uh, if such an organization does develop, that relates to um, planning and other issues that might come before it, uh, smart planning principles, uh, the state will decide that. And they will decide whether it's a taxable organization or it doesn't tax. They will decide what's going to happen. We won't. But I can guarantee you that if we have that organization, that Scott County will be a participant play an active role, and we always have, and we will continue to do that, and we will do what best reflects well of the citizens of Scott County and, and allows our people to, to have that quality of life that we think they should have. So I don't see this as anything negative. It's a way states and counties and cities accommodate themselves to an ever-changing citizenry and ever-changing technology and, and the things that have to be done in, in a smooth way. And so we will, if, if such a thing comes about with the state of Iowa, we will be a part of it and we will exercise those uh, obligations uh, in making sure that it works well for all of us. So I'm going to vote yes on this and do not have a Thank you, Mr. Chairman. A resolution approving the collective bargaining agreement between Scott County and the Public Professional and Maintenance Employees Local 2003. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded. Any comments? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We have a resolution recognizing the appointment of official records clerk at 94% of mid 